Hey everybody, the Bong is here to give you a brand new Let's Play! Lords of Thunder for the Sega CD. Now this is actually a pretty fun shooter that I remember playing a while back. And it's known for its really rockin' soundtrack. This was also out on the TurboGrafx CD, but this is the one I'm more familiar with, so we'll be jumping right in. Alright, go straight to Desant. I'll try the water armor to kick things May off. Ah, uh, yes, you can help me. Only brought in 300 bucks, so I guess I'll be going with... I kind of want to take more life. And then maybe a barrier. Thank you. You're welcome. All I ask is that you keep me alive and keep supplying things to me. Oh! Apparently B is your uh, bomb and I just wasted it. That was a great start. So A is shoot, it seems. C, I don't think, does anything. If you're really close to enemies, you use your sword instead of your uh, blasts. So, like, the blue and red gems are just your currency. So the more of those you have, the more items you can buy in the shop later. These blue jewels, that are, like, round, power up your attack. As you can see. And you can actually sustain an amount of hits, too, which is pretty refreshing for shooters. I'm not that great at shooters, just to let you all know. You guys already knew that. Watch my other Let's Plays of them. Um, so this one has a little bit of an easy curve compared to... Oh, well, I guess I'm not getting that. An easy curve compared to other shooters I've played. Many of them involve one-hit kills. So yeah, the sword does an incredible amount of damage if you can nail it. Uh-oh. Wasn't giving me a lot of places to move, but okay. It can be pretty easy to get distracted by your own shots. Which might explain why you might take some hits easily in this. And the music is really good, too. Also gets you right in the vibe. Not to mention the graphics are really impressive. But I mean, it was a CD-based game, so what do you expect? It's not all FMV games on the Sega CD. Oh boy, you're moving too fast. This sound effects are not too loud. That's the one thing I don't like about some games that have like uh, good music, but also really loud so sound effects. And you can't enjoy the music unless you just stop shooting. If you stop shooting, then you're not going to kill anything. This is how it is. So at least this game finds that healthy balance. Also, you think with all these pillars I'm bringing down, this whole... This whole set of ruins is gonna collapse on us. Certainly don't want that. Alright, I think we should be closing in on the boss now. I uh, just thought I'd uh, slide right in. You're not gonna be fighting me, though. You'll be fighting whatever this is. So yeah, this game is basically... If you got enough health, just go in with your sword and start slaying. And you could just rinse foes just like that. Gotcha. 
And that's the first level down. Uh, we'll go to Ozol next. I'm gonna try the Earth Armor for this. May I help you? Um, uh, give me back the. Oh, I didn't even take that much damage. Uh, avoid to attack some enemy. Sure. I'd also use some bombs. I'll try not to use them by accident. So yeah, each armor actually has its own set of weaponry. You just find the one that works best for you. Or for what level you're in. Like this earth armor, I'm not a fan of it. However, if you're going into like a cavern, it would actually be perfect. Oh hey, Legally Distinct Gyarados, how's it going? Like, how can you not love this soundtrack? <laughs> so rockin'. And there was like another game like this that was exclusive to the Turbo CD, I think it was called Gate of Thunder. Like, even though they have similar names, they're, they're not a sequel to each other. Just very similar teams that worked on it. Gate of Thunder is pretty much a space shooter. Can you let me through, please? Thank you. Thanks for the money. Oh god, Bubbles. We're back in Gradius 3, everyone. Get me out of Gradius 3, please. I don't, I don't think the Bubbles even heard you. I think they're just more distracting than anything else. Excellent. Yeah, I think anything that's narrow is where this armor shines. Because the explosions just travel along, too. Oh, wow, you just go for a quick grab, why don't you? You know what? Well, you just use one of our explosions. There we go. Oh, there's no traps in the foreground. That looks like foreground. That seems up. Oh, there was. Wow. I don't know if Kevin McAllister lived in this place. I think the wet bandits would ever be in this area. All right, boss time again. Fourth creature. Thank you for not giving me much room to move. I think it's the head you have to target. Yup, it is. Some of the shots are homing too. That's a piercing scream. That's a scream of somebody that lost. Alright. Lamarada? Oh, uh, let's go with wind. May I help you? I think I was better off just buying this. Whatever. Turns the time back for resurrection. Special or for resurrection. I guess we'll take an elixir.
And we'll take the shield. I do find that the wind armor is the noisiest, but it has one of the better weapons. So, it has, like, the good and the bad. Uh-oh. Thanks a lot for pinning me down. Rock fell on my head. So, that shield is pretty much gone. Hey, you wanna just go into a volcano? Sure. I guess we'll be doing that. Damn it! There, that's better. Hope I don't get crushed or trapped. Oh my god, I stayed right into the path of that shot. I never got out of it. That was stupid. Okay, at least the diagonal will deal with the rocks. Whatever ones they actually hit. Okay, everything is just going silky smooth so far. I like to keep it that way. Random fire snakes. The oldest trick in the book. It's not easy to always predict their patterns. Because sometimes it'll just pick and choose. I know that's not what's happening, but it feels that way to me. Will this trap again? Look, Medieval Hammer Brothers. Come on, open, thank you. I love how the enemies are not affected by these kinds of traps. Should be close to the boss. Like, where are the boss? Oh look, Futuristic Summon Skull! Oh wow, quick stab, why don't ya? Get wrecked! Didn't stand a chance! Okay, three more levels to do him. Is it three or is it four? Yeah, it's three, then you go to the middle. So we're going to Bosk. I haven't used the fire armor yet, so let's give that a try. I help you? There we go, now we're maxed out on health. The bomb. Does, does this override the other? I don't know how this works. Luckily, I've never had to use it. Oh wow, this is actually the noisiest one. Oh god, Venipedes with wings. I didn't know I was back in Unova. Fun fact. I think in the Turbo CD version, this song is actually in the final shooting level, 
or the final main level, and that the final main level song was in this level. Found that pretty weird. Why they swapped it like that. Goes to show, like, if you play the same game twice, but on different systems, you end up not having the same experience. It's pretty neat. Most of the time. I mean, if you're playing Shinobi on the NES, then it's not neat at all. At least that's what I've heard. Oh wait, I'm already at max health, so it doesn't matter. Alright, what else you got for me? How about you don't see where you are? How about that? So this is not a long game, if you know what you're doing. Uh-oh, I'm not a fan of these thorns constantly blocking where I'm going. I think this is the right weapon for this level, though. Or the right armor for this... for this stage. Just gotta hope that it's... Uh-oh. Yeah, that was dumb. Should've just gone up. Why does this remind me of, like, an enemy from Metroid, or Super Metroid? I think they had something like this in Meridia. Like, what was it called? Uh, Shack Tool? That's what it reminds me of. You know, you can destroy the axes. Mario couldn't do it. This guy could. Oh, come on, you couldn't let me get that money? You, let me go back and get that money. I demand it. Oh, it can grow its arms back? Is that what this is? Just watch out for that spinning blade. Yeah, I don't even have to get up close and personal to slash it. In fact, it's not a good idea to do it. Just stay right there. Oh, I thought that blade was gonna hit me! It was heading in my direction. Halado. Alright. Let's go back to the wind armor. I, help you? I didn't even take a single hit, and I didn't even use any of my bombs. So we're going magic barrier max. Actually, no, let's save our money. Go level 2. I want to make sure I have plenty of money for the last couple stages. Alright, obligatory snow level. Welcome to Canada. Or in its worst times, Texas. Dark, because the power grid went out again. Oh, careful. Is there just like an endless supply of like spiky worms? That's such a Mega Man trap there. Yo, what's up with that eagle? The long neck. It's like if Dodrio and Giraffe Ray got a child. 
Wow, you just no sold my uh, lightning. How dare you? How dare you disrespect the lightning? There's a mortal sin you have committed. For that, you must pay dearly. Oh, the crystals are falling. Nope. I don't think that hurts you, it, but it pushes you. So just hope it doesn't guide you into a trap. Or something like that. Oh, I'm trying to squeeze through and I didn't do it. Well, that was dumb. And there goes my shield, too. Look at this freaky thing. It's like four mouths in one. It's like a two-year-old. <laughs> Excellent. Oh no, you ain't taking a shot at me. If you're fast enough, you can take down that, that giant worm before he even shoots at you. What well, looks like that? Got you close. Damn it! Okay, there's not many places to move here. I'm noticing the hard way. Some tight squeezes everywhere. Okay, boss time. I remember this boss giving me some pretty stupid hits. Cause they get too aggressive. Yeah, this guy. Cause of that pounce. And I'm usually not ready for it. Ah! Just sun stab, and now you're out. God, I love the bombs. Alright, seal them. Um, stick with the wind armor for the rest of the game, I guess. Yeah, I think I'll just get this. And this. And this. I think that'll be it. Ooh, it's sunset. That's a free sky. Oh, 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 careful. Too much currency was actually blocking the shots. And if there's what something a dude does not like, his shot's getting blocked. I mean, you see people watch basketball at the bars. If it happens to their team, of course. Then again, I find if the Raptors are not playing, they mostly don't care around here. Well, like basketball, it's just on in the background, like whatever. What do you think we care about LeBron? Anyway, I just I press onward. Looks like a floating fortress. I hope that doesn't fall on me. Because usually those are pretty heavy. I've never seen a floating island that was as light as a feather. And I've been to many a floating island in my day. They're usually pretty heavy. Been to one in the 10th grade once. It was a good time. 
No way it wasn't a flying island, it was St. Pierre and Mikulon. What's the difference anyway? The cemeteries are above sea level, so. <laughs> There's that. So it's close enough. Oh, he just dropped down to die! He's like, I'm ready! Oh shit! That was like a terrible first day for him. And him. Like, they don't stand a chance with this much power. As long as I can maintain that much power. Up! I will show him! What if we jump right on him? He's gonna go to the top of the screen eventually. Okay, I thought all those shots were hitting me. Wait, did I even count? I'm starting to think those shots were not counting. What cheating crap that was. Okay, it throws a shield like a boomerang. I think that would have been the better time to use the uh, bombs. How is this thing still going? Now I'm really powered down. Finally! Whew, I better get reimbursed heavily for that. Oh, cutscene time. Play taller Durand than I am. defeated the six dark generals and protected the six continents of Mistral. But the high priest Sornville had been successful in the construction of the dark tower over the seal of Deoric. With this tower to magnify his force, Sornville will be able to resurrect the evil god Deoric. There's a bunch of random names you'll likely not remember unless you're a super fan of this game. Now you can go to the final level. Uh, yes! Can I go back to max health, please? And max power. And max bombs. You know what, we'll take this too. Let's me take more than one, so... I hope I'm doing the right thing. Thank you. Thank you. You put my kids through college. Oh! That was a bad start. Okay, I think in the Turbo CD version, those torches would create suicide bullets. So maybe you were better off just not killing them in that port. Oh boy. Ah, that's too slow. I think all my shield is gone, isn't it? Well, this is a problem. So I remember when I played this game before, like the later stretch of this level, it is pretty tough. Like, I've taken tons of hits there. Hope I've learned from before. If I take a ton of hits now, then you'll know I haven't. Oh, 
Oh, this is freak again. What? It tracks all the way from there? Here, there's a power-up you're never gonna get now. Yeah, I think that's what the issue was. Dodging so many shots. And all those spike maces. I think that chains themselves hurt you too. Oh my god, this is miserable! They do hurt you! Why do the chains hurt you? I don't get it. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, gotta start powering up again. More importantly, find some health. Yeah, I fell into the same trap as before. Couldn't dodge everything all at once. And the chains themselves hurt you. That was one thing Super Mario World did right. It just let the spike balls do it. Rather than the entire trap. Oh god, there's lasers everywhere. Especially like the center one. Shit. Got it. No, I let me get the other stuff too. Alright, you. Okay, I'm not in top fighting form. But I hope I can make do with this. Come on, that's bullshit. I win. Barely, though. But I win. Okay. Final stretch. I only have enough for a small shield. Let's hope it's enough. Hey. I am the goddess Lucia. Or Luxia. I've been watching over this land from the beginning of time. Now is the only time you will be able to defeat Deorg when he has not yet recovered his true strength. I will give you what power I have left, so you may defeat Deorg. Go now, Duran, to fight and save Mistral. Could have given me some more money. Alright, now for the last stretch of the game. Coming for ya. Oh, watch out. Okay, this is the first of many forms. Okay, I'm done. One more girl over there. Got a bit of a smoke, smoke show going. Where are ya? Oh god, I'm five. Now for my true form. Alright, 
I think this is the final boss. Let's do this. Slowly. Very slowly. Okay, we get it. Come on. Open wide. Alright, final boss. Let's do this. You just gotta go right into the mouth. I win. <laughs> That's all it is! <laughs> Alright, play the epic music for me. For my victory. This sounds so Leonard Skinner-ish. I'm telling ya. Well, I spent all that money and now I can't afford my armor anymore. Yeah, I don't care if you're broke, I still love you. And they never kissed because they were too awkward. And that's it! That's Lords of Thunder for the Sega CD! Well, that was a pretty fun game to get back into. That last stage is still... too tough for me. But as long as you have, like, enough of everything, you'll survive. So would I recommend this one? Yes. If you want a challenge, however, I would recommend the Turbo CD version. That one will offer a little bit more of a challenge for ya. Or play this one on a harder difficulty. So in any case, this is the Bongo signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching everybody, and I shall see you next time.